Buffy St. Marie's claims of being adopted through the 60s scoop have come into question during the now viral CBC investigation into her supposed Indigenous ancestry. The news that Buffy St. Marie may not have been adopted has hit hard for survivors of the 60s scoop who once found kinship through the shared experience. The board of the 60s scoop Legacy of Canada released an open letter to the CBC calling for an apology to Buffy and all Indigenous adoptees for the hurt the investigation has caused their community. The letter also called for a retraction of the Fifth Estate episode where the award-winning singer's ancestry is investigated. Their founder and director, Catherine Strongwood, joins us now. Catherine, really appreciate you taking the time for us here. Regardless of Buffy St. Marie's ancestry, uh, how would you say 60s Scoop survivors have been affected by this news? Yeah. I think it's important that uh, we recognize that 60 Scoop survivors were mentioned as part of that article, but really weren't consulted in in the making of that documentary. And so there's a feeling of betrayal for sure. And also there's deep division amongst us who, uh, you know, have had our identities used against us or have had our identities changed throughout our adoption processes. and. Yeah, there's a, it, our community is reeling. Uh, in the open letter uh, from your board, it mentions that the research into Buffy's identity is, quote, fraught with gaping holes. Uh, what are some of the areas that uh, their research missed or, or didn't give context to? Yeah, like I mentioned, we there was no real discussion with 60 Scoop survivors about her birth documents, and many of us know that our, uh, you know, current... Um, birth certificates often reflect our adoptive parents names not our bio parents names so that was one piece but also just the fact that it didn't include any of indigenous uh, community experts really was was a big red flag for us we thought you know this is very one-sided we didn't really talk about the 60s scoop and all of the genocide that happened throughout that that period in that era and so like I said many of us are very um, divided about what to think about this article. How can investigations like this be more sensitive to the needs of, of 60 Scoop survivors and the wider Indigenous population in the future? Mm -hmm. I think it needs to be trauma-informed first and foremost. I don't think that the effects of this article was really um, considered before it was released. Secondly, they could reach out to any of us at any time at the 60 School Legacy of Canada to give some input into some of the um, uh, experiences that we've had, you know, having our birth documents altered, you know, having gone through interracial and international adoptions, the, that kind of thing. So I think they could have done a lot more to present a holistic picture in that in that documentary. Catherine, we'll have to leave it there, but uh, do appreciate you sharing your time with us here. Thank you. The impact of allegations about Buffy St. Marie's indigeneity continues after the CBC broadcast. The cast doubt on the icon status. Lori Campbell is an associate vice president of Indigenous Engagement with the University of Regina. She brought her views to the conversation this week, an online news source. She joins us now. Laurie, thanks so much for being with us here. Uh, your article talks about the profound impact this has had on Indigenous communities. Uh, can you talk about that? Yeah, that was, I mean, the thing that struck me the most and maybe maybe a little bit more particular here in Saskatchewan because um, Piapot community is here and uh, it was a shock. And I think what I saw, you know, go across social media was just about um, the grief, the anger, the um, struggle with what's true and what's not true, and um, it, it's just a, a really difficult thing. It seems to have been very divisive uh, as well. Um, would that be your perception of what's been going on here? 
Yeah, absolutely. I think it's caused a lot of divisiveness and it's uh, that's the part that I think is really making me sad about all this is, um, you know, there was, uh, in my mind, little sensitivity about the impact that this news might have. Um, on people and in people's lives. And uh, I, I do feel like there could have been more care and attention um, in the release of the story. Right. How could uh, the publication of the allegations reduce the harm? You know, I think given that, um, you know, Buffy uh, St. Marie is a community member of Piapot uh, First Nation out here, I um, would think that, you know, perhaps the community could have been given a bit of a heads up. I know as, you know, journalists, you know, they like to break a story and and uh, sort of shock people a bit with that, but I, I don't think that that was necessarily the right way to um, move forward in reconciliation and uh, in this way. I feel like the community maybe could have had a heads up and a little bit Bit more um, support in place and uh, um, an opportunity for that. Uh, great points, Lori. Uh, we'll leave it there, but uh, appreciate your your article and for taking some time for us. All right, thank you very much.